What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show why you get a zero instead of a blank value for each of the xlookup function, the vlookup function, and the index match formula, and how to fix those problems. Now, I have this table here where column A is the list of US states, and column B shows the largest city for each state. And you'll notice that in column B, we have some missing cities for states like Alabama, Florida, and Maine. And the purpose of this table will be to showcase the zero blank issue for the xlookup function, the vlookup function, and the index match formula here. So when using a lookup function or formula, Excel will try to check if the lookup value in the range of cell you selected exists. If the lookup value does not exist, which in this case is US state column A for this table, then you would get an NA error. Let's check out the xlookup example and see what happens when you delete Alabama from the lookup range. So if I deleted this value here, then you would get an NA error instead. Same thing applies for these two scenarios here, where if I deleted Florida and Maine, then the output would be an NA error for both of these cases. But if a lookup value does exist and the return value does not exist, which in this case is the city column, then Excel will notice and return the value of zero instead of blank by default. So if you try to use the fourth argument of if not found in the xlookup function, you wouldn't get the correct output since the lookup value exists even though the return value does not. So let me show you an example of what I mean. Let's type out Alabama again for US state so that we have a lookup value for it. And if I go back to the xlookup function and do a comma, and then for the fourth argument, let's say I type out not found in all caps, you would expect to like see the value of not found if the return value doesn't exist. But in this case, since the lookup value exists, we will get back a zero instead. There are multiple ways to fix this. And in this video, I'll be showing you a few simple ways on how to for the functions and formulas I've mentioned so far. One way you can fix this is by concatenating the empty string next to the return value or return array. So in the xlookup example here, if I go to the return array argument here, and next to this, I type out ampersand, and then I do a double quote for empty string or like null value and press enter. I get back the blank value for this instead of zero. And let's switch to another state to see if it messed up our function in any way. So if I go to the drop down menu and just select a different state that has a city like Idaho, we get back the larger city for Idaho, which is Boise here. And if I go back to the Alabama test case, we get a blank value back instead of zero. For the VLOOKUP function, what you can do is that you can go to the second argument here where the table array argu argument is and do ampersand and a null string again, press enter, and we get a blank value. And for the index match formula, it's a bit different. What you can do is that you can concatenate the empty string or the null string outside of the function here. So if I do ampersand and double quotes again, press enter, we get a blank value back this time. Another method you can do is by using the combination of the if function and the is blank function. So let's go back to the original example. And what we can do is that we can use the if function in this area here. So if you do if, and the logical test will be is blank of the x lookup function here. And we're going to close that out, comma. And if the value is blank, then we, we want to return nothing. Otherwise, if the value is not blank, then we want to return the original function itself. And then I can just paste this here and close the parentheses out and press enter. And we get a blank value back again. So once again, we can test this out for other states. So if I do a state like Hawaii, we get back the larger city of Honolulu. The same logic applies for the VLOOKUP function. So what we can do is that we can wrap this around an IF function, so IF, and we can wrap the VLOOKUP function itself in an IS blank function, and then just close this out. If the value is blank, we turn nothing. Otherwise, we turn the VLOOKUP function, close the parentheses out, and press enter, and we get back nothing again. And the same logic will apply for the index match formula equals to if this index match formula is blank, we can use the is blank function and close this out, comma, if true, we turn nothing. Otherwise, you want to return the formula itself. Copy this and then just paste it here and close the formula out, press enter. 
and we get back nothing for main. So if you didn't want to use the isblank function, what you can do is that you can just, well, there's another way to do it where you can just set it equal to nothing directly. So I'm going to delete the isblank function. And for this case, I'm just going to state that if, so if this function here equals to nothing, then you want to return nothing. Otherwise, return the x lookup value. So press enter and we get the same results again. What I've shown you are a couple of easy ways to fix the zero value lookup issue. Of course, there are multiple ways you can fix the problem in Excel, but these two methods are probably easier to understand than other methods. I hope this video was helpful and if you want to see another cool thing you can do in Excel, then check out this video where I showcase a dynamic dashboard with pivot slicers and timelines. As always, please like this video and comment down below what else you'd want to see. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.